Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 Create Basic Presentation Tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will step by step learn how to create a basic presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. We will also learn how to add images, how to apply themes and much more. So we have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Now when we open our Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 program, we see a screen like this and we see two rectangular boxes over here with dotted borders. These are known as placeholders and these placeholders are used to add text to our slide. So if we want to add a title to our slide, then what we have to do is we just have to click on our first placeholder which is this one and when we will click on it, this text will disappear from here. So just click on it and you can see the text that were here are gone from here. Now we can start typing our title and let's say the title that we want to give to this slide is demonetization. So we can type in here demonetization like this. Okay. Then let's say we also want to add a subtitle to this slide then we have to click on the second placeholder which is this one and when we click on it you can see the text that were here are gone from here now we can start typing our subtitle and let's say the subtitle that we want to give to this slide is a boon or bane then we can hit a question mark like this so this is our title and this is our subtitle okay now we can hit outside of it. Now let's say there are more than one line in our subtitle. Then how we can type more than one line? We just have to hit enter and then we can start typing whatever we want to type. But since we don't have anything in our uh, subtitle, we don't have any extra line. So we can remove this text because we only have one line in our subtitle. So hit delete after selecting the text and text will be deleted. Now that we have created our title slide, so we need to add a new slide to our presentation. And actually there are three ways to do that. We can add a new slide in three different ways. One is we can select our last slide or slide after which we want to add a new slide. Then we can right click on it and hit new slide. Or we can go to our home tab, then under slides group, we can click on new slide. Another way to do that is we can hit Ctrl and M key combination together and this will also add a new slide to this presentation. But in this case, we are going to our home tab, then under slides group, we are going to click on new slide button. Okay, and you can see we got a new slide over here. Now the layout of this slide is a little bit different than this one. Why? Because the layout of this slide is different than this one. And I'm going to tell you about layouts a little bit. Again go to your home tab under slides group click on the lower part of this new slide button and here you can see different types of layouts. So our first slide was title slide layout our second slide is title and content. So here we can add title of this slide and here we can add different types of content. So we can add bulleted text over here we can add tables over here, we can add charts, smart arts, we can add images, we can search from web and we can add movie clips or audio video. Okay, so we can add different types of contents in here. Now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add a title to this slide. So we just have to click on this placeholder and we can start typing our title. And let's say the title that we want to give to this slide is what is demonetization so we can type in here what is demonetization like this question mark now in here we will define what a demonetization is okay since we don't want any bullet so we just need to select it and then we can go to our home tab then under paragraph group we need to click on this bullet and we have two different types of bullets one is known as unnumbered bullets and the second one is known as numbered bullet. 
so there are two types of bullets just click on it again and you can see the bullet is gone from here now we can start typing our content and the content that we want to type in here is the process of withdrawing a particular coin note or precious metal from use by the central bank of the country is known as demonetization now sometimes when we are giving presentation we want some information in the form of note so if we want to add notes to a slide then how we can do that first of all we need to go to our taskbar and then we need to click on this notes pane okay when we click on it a notes pane will appear and now we can type in our notes over here if we want to increase this area we can also do that we just have to bring our mouse pointer over it and then click on it and increase its size like this so it depends on you how much area you want in notes pane now we are going to type in our notes over here so for example hello everyone welcome to microsoft powerpoint 2016 create basic presentation tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a basic presentation in microsoft powerpoint 2016 okay so this is how we can add notes to our slide and that is very simple we can increase or decrease size of this notes pin it depends on the uh, available content in notes area once again we need to add a new slide to this presentation so we are going to repeat the same process we are going to our home tab then under slides group we are going to click on this new slide button especially on the upper part and it will add a new slide after this slide and this slide also has the same type of layout a title and uh, some bulleted text information so first of all we want to create a title for this slide so we are going to click on this placeholder and then we are going to type in demonetization in india this is the title of this slide and now we are going to add some information over here and this time also we don't want any bulleted information so we are going to delete this bullet point so we just need to go to our home tab then under paragraph group we can click on this bullet and it will remove this bullet from here now we can add our content so we are going to type in mr narendra modi comma the current prime minister of india announced demonetization on 8th november 2016 according to the government the aim of this demonetization was to counter corruption and black money inside the country the government also introduced new rupee 500 and rupee 1000 notes so this is the information that we want to put in here and now we are going to create our next slide so again we have to repeat the same process we are just going to go to our home tab then under slides group we are going to click on the lower part of this new slide and then this time we want to again insert title and content slide layout so we can click on here and here we are going to type in our title and this title is advantages of demonetization okay and now we will write all the advantages of demonetization over here and the first point that we are going to add is we just need to click on it and then we can start typing our first point and this is increase in digital transaction okay then to type in the next point we just need to hit enter and then we can start typing in our next point and our next bullet point is help in controlling inflation hit enter and type in next point and this point is 
increase in tax collection then control in fake currency next growth in countries gdp so these are five points that we want to put in our advantages of demonetization slide now we are going to create another slide and this time we are going to use another method to insert a new slide just right click on the slide and click on new slide and you can see a new slide is inserted or added in this presentation click on this placeholder and type in the title of this slide and this time we want to put disadvantages so we can type in here disadvantages of demonetization okay now we can type in here our first point that will be disadvantage of demonetization and our first point is disruption in trade our second point is we have to recalibrate atm machines so recalibration of atm then our third point is less cash in circulation then inconvenience and panic in public and finally financial crisis for a short period okay so these are five points that we want to put in our this slide called disadvantages of demonetization now we are going to go to our first slide and we are going to make some changes in font size and font and let's say we want to put in here so we can just put some space over here and i think now it is perfect okay now we just need to select this text then we can go to our home tab then under font group we can click on this drop down and from here let's say we want to use this font arial so we can click on here now let's say we also want to change its size so again we need to go to our home tab then under font group we can click on this drop down and from here we can choose any size and let's say we want to use um, 36 or 40 i think 40 will be better repeat i think 40 will be better so we can click on it now we can select this text then we can go to our home tab under font group we can click on this drop down and we can choose arial similarly we can go to our home tab under font group we can click on this drop down and from here we can choose or type 23 or 22 all right so we have uh, changed the font of this title and uh, font of this subtitle we have also changed font size of title and subtitle now we are going to repeat the same process in here we are going to select this text in home tab under font group arial font size this time we are going to use 32 then we are going to select content home tab under font group click on this drop down and choose arial then size that we want is 22 so we can type in here 22 then we can go to our next slide select this text go to home tab under font group click on here and choose arial select content oops we should place an over here select this content Le repeat select this text go to home tab under font group click on this drop down and choose arial then define size over here 22 hit enter okay now we are going to go to our fourth slide and here we are going to repeat the same process we are just going to i think it is bold and we want to make uh, this text 32 size so we can type in here 32 we can come in here and uh, if we want to copy some formatting we can just select that cell or that placeholder then we can go to our home tab under clipboard group we can click on format painter and then we can just just select the text click on format painter go to the slide where you want to copy this formatting 
and uh, move this brush like this okay and the same formatting will be applied over here you can see Arial 32 similarly we want to do the same thing for content so format painter this slide and uh, apply this brush over here and that's it similarly we can repeat the same process over here so format painter go to next slide and uh, move this brush over here now copy content go to home tab under clipboard group and click on format painter and move this brush over here all right so we have changed font and font size in all these slides all right so we have changed all these fonts and font sizes in all these slides all right so now we have changed font and font size in all these slides now let's say we also want to add some images in our presentation then how we can do that to do that we just need to go to our insert tab then under images group we need to click on pictures and then insert picture dialog box will pop up now from here we can choose our images that we want to insert and let's say we want to insert this one so we can click on this image and then we can click on insert and you can see this image got inserted now what we need to do is we need to resize this image and how we can do that just click on this image then bring your mouse pointer over here click and drag it like this and resize it okay so this is how we can resize an image just drag these nodes and the image will automatically resize itself let's make it a little bit smaller okay now there are some design ideas on the right hand side of this slide and if you want to choose any of these design ideas you can choose those design ideas and uh, let's see if there is any design idea that suits our needs and I don't think there is any idea that fits in our content but I think this one can fit in our content so what we can do is in that case we just need to click on this and this design idea will be applied in here now if we want to increase this image just have to drag it like this and then we have to drag it like this okay now let's see if there is any other idea I think uh, this one is also looking perfect and this one is also but I think this one is most appropriate as you can see or this one is also good so now let's say we also want to insert a picture on this slide then how we can do that to do that we just need to go to our insert tab then we need to click on pictures under images group and insert picture dialog box will pop up now choose the picture that you want to insert and click on insert button and you can see this image got inserted now what we can do is we can resize the picture so just click on the node and drag it like this and it will resize the picture to reposition the picture just click on the picture hold down mouse key and move your mouse and this is how you can reposition the picture I think this size is perfect so we can keep this size now similarly we are going to add another picture in here in disadvantages of demonetization so we can go to our insert tab click on pictures under images group and choose picture that you want to insert hit insert and you can see this picture over here now we need to resize it again so just drag these corners these nodes and reposition it I think the size is now perfect so we can leave this like this okay so now we have inserted our pictures now let's say we also want to add now let's say we also want to add some type of uh, frame so we just need to select this image then we can go to our format tab and from here under picture styles group we can choose a frame and let's say we want to use this one so we can select this one similarly we can go to our next slide and repeat the same process just go to format tab under picture styles group click on more and select the frame that you want
So this is how we can insert pictures in a presentation. Now if we want to reuse an existing slide in PowerPoint, that is also possible. And to reuse a PowerPoint slide, we just need to go to our home tab. Then under slides group, we need to click on the lower part of this new slide button. And from here, we can click on reuse slides. Just click on it and then a window will appear. You have to wait for it. If it is not appearing, again go to your home tab. Under slides group, click on new slide and then choose reuse slide. Now you can see reuse slides over here and here we just need to click on this browse button and when we click on this browse button browse dialog box will pop up. Now we need to define where our uh, PowerPoint images or PowerPoint slides are and in this case they are located in this folder and the slide that we want to use is called create beautiful presentation. So we can select this slide and then we can click on this open button okay and you can see the slide over here now if we want to reuse an existing slide in powerpoint that is also possible and to do that we just need to go to our home tab then under slides group we need to click on the lower part of this new slide button and from here we can click on reuse slides and now you can see a reuse dialog box reuse slides dialog box pops up here now what we can do is we can go to our browse and from here we can choose powerpoint slide or powerpoint presentation from which we want to copy a slide and let's say we want to copy a slide from here so we can open this one and then we can choose which slide we want and let's say we want to add this slide in our presentation so what we need to do is we just need to click on this slide and this slide will be added after this slide okay so just click on it and you can see this slide is added after this slide so this is how we can use an existing slide in our current presentation now we are going to do one last thing and that is to give our presentation a uniform look and how we can do that to do that we just need to go to our design tab that is here click on it and you can see various themes over here so if we want to see all these themes in one time we just need to click on this more button and then we can see all these themes in one time now if we bring our mouse pointer over any theme we can see how our presentation is going to look like so we can just bring our mouse pointer over a theme and we can see how our presentation will look like so we can either use this one this one this one or any one Just check out. I think this one looks perfect. So we can click on this theme and you can see this theme is applied to all these slides. Now let's see how it is looking and you can see this is our first slide second third fourth fifth sixth and this is the slide that we just copied from some other presentation now on the right hand side we can see different uh, ideas and we can just opt for these ideas uh, for example we can either choose this one that has icons in it or we can choose this one which is wonderful design so there are various options okay and I think this one is perfect so we can choose this one similarly we can go here and if there is any design idea we can choose that design idea and uh, I think this looks perfect we don't have to change it so we are not going to do that then we can go to this slide and let's see if there is anything that is uh, more suitable this is also perfect now let's see what we can do with this slide nothing it's perfect so all these slides are perfect we don't need to change anything in here now there is only one thing that we need to change we just need to move this content over here okay so 
the content and the title is not perfect so we can just click over here and we can drag it like this okay so now its position is perfect then we can go to our next slide select this one and move it like this this one is also perfect then we can go to our next slide and we can select this placeholder or text box and we can move it like this next slide select and move it and i think this one is perfect so we don't need to change anything in here okay and there are various options about this but we are not going to do that now everything is perfect so we can see how our slide presentation is going to look like so just close this go to your slideshow tab and under start slideshow group click on from beginning since we want to see our presentation from beginning so click on it and you can see your presentation in full screen now just click on and you can see the next slide again click on again 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 so this is how we can create a very basic presentation in microsoft powerpoint 2016 so this tutorial concludes here i hope it was helpful for you thanks for watching